What's up, YouTube? We're back with another episode of What the Hell Am I Doing? And this week, we're back with an episode of Champs Product Reviews, and we're actually going to do a little bit of spicy sports betting, too, because there's a, well, a couple of big events tomorrow, and uh, I thought I'd get, you know, a little dibs on them both. So, um, yeah, it's been a while since I've done a product review. It's been many months. And uh, I am working on a big one. I am working on a big one that's going to be a two-part review. Um, like I said a few weeks ago, I might have to start review releasing these types of videos on a different day of the week if I'm going to keep doing spicy sports bets as much as I've been doing them. So that's something I might have to look into more. And I have to get back into streaming. I know I promised back around Christmas that I was going to do it, and I haven't. But when I play games like Tarkov and a couple new ones that I've got... I think I'm just going to turn on the stream sometimes and see who joins me. So keep an eye out for that because I do intend to get back into that. But yeah, it's been a while since I've done a product review. And, uh, well, especially one that's related to Chili's. And uh, thanks to my buddy at work, uh, we'll call him Big D. Uh, Big D, you know who you are. Um, thank you for this. Uh, I came into work, I think, Monday or Tuesday morning. I was just pulling into the lot. And he pulled up beside me. He's like, I got a gift for you. And uh, I'm like, what's that? And he goes, I got you some lemonade. And uh, he hands it to me. And it's jalapeno lemonade by President's Choice. And if you're Canadian, you know what President's Choice is. It's a Loblaws brand thing. They have a lot of good products. A lot of good snacks, and cookies, and ice creams. You know, they've always had good products, I thought. And uh, some, of them, some of them are fails, but a lot of them are good. And I don't know what to think of spicy lemonade. When he handed this to me, at, at first I kind of laughed. I thought, wow, that's funny. But, you know, I figured it'd be a good thing to do on the show. And uh, let's, let's get an honest review. I don't expect this to blow my socks off in terms of heat. But this seems weird, and I think it should be shown. And we'll see how it goes. And then afterwards, I'm going to give you guys my picks for the two fights tomorrow. Uh, there's the Ben Askren... Jake Paul fight, which I'm going to pick, and um, there's also the uh, UFC tomorrow, and I'm going to talk about the main event, and I'll give you my pick on that, so we'll make a spicy sports bet as well, and uh, hopefully I win, because I got to say, disappointed with how my punishment video did a couple weeks ago, um, you know, that was a really bad one, when I turned off the camera, like, I was coming down a bit, but... I got such a rush from that that when I turned the camera off, I couldn't really walk. My legs were like, it was almost like they were pulling tight and I couldn't really feel them. And I, I had to lay on the ground and just ride it out. And, uh, you know, I hate doing stuff like that and only getting 60 or 70 views. It sucks. And, uh, you know, I was hoping that video would do a lot better, especially after two weeks. And it didn't. Um, so... You know, please share these videos out if you want me to keep doing them. Um, you know, it, it sucks sometimes to do these punishments. And if nobody's watching the punishments, I'm not sure why I'm doing them. So that's just me being real with you guys. You know, I try to do everything on this channel, but I know people like the punishments. So I keep going back to, you know, torture. Um, so I always expect those to do better. And they, when they don't, it's disappointing. Anyways, I'm not going to cry about that. Um, let's get down to this. So this is from President's Choice. It's jalapeno lemonade. It's with a spicy zinc. So I, I find this interesting because I love hot stuff, obviously. And um, I've always loved hot stuff. It says, uh, it says it's mild in terms of heat. So let's just take a look at the back real quick. So it's water, cane sugar, which is better than, you know, corn syrup or any of that crap. Lemon juice, natural flavor. And spice extract. So I don't know what that means. Exactly what kind of extract that is. If it's the alcohol style extracts. Which are actually kind of punishing. Or, or whatever. Um, but you know again it's jalapeno. So how punishing is that? That's for kids. So let's just give her a quick shake. And uh, yeah it's a big fight tomorrow. So. I mean, it's not really a big fight if you're a real boxing fan. It's kind of a joke, but, um, you know, it's been hyped up. And, and, and I've got reasons that I'm excited about it. I, I don't really know much about Jake Paul. But I know who Ben Askren is, and uh, I know why they chose him. They think he's not a good striker. So this just looks like lemonade as I pour it. 
And he's not a good striker. He's a great wrestler. He's a great MMA fighter. You know, he was unbeaten coming into the UFC for a long time. Um, but they think he's going to be a pushover. And he's not. He fought Robbie Lawler. Robbie Lawler almost busted his head in half. And he beat Robbie. He got lucky, but he beat him. I mean, he, he, that fight could have been stopped almost for anybody else. But, you know, he managed to hang on, avoid the worst situation he could be in. And uh, he got a submission. And uh, that's what fighters do. Ben Askren is a fighter. Anyways, back to this. My thoughts of that are done for the moment. So, my nose is whistling, sorry. Um, you know, I have a broken nose. Well, had a broken nose. I fixed it myself. I don't think I've ever told the story. My nose is messed up. I didn't fix it right. Uh, so yeah, it just smells like lemonade. So yeah, uh, like I said, President's Choice, you know, I personally think they, they come up with a lot of good products. They have had some fails, but, uh, you know, the Decadent Cookie is the most famous thing I think they have. And that was the beginning of um, something special, I think, for that company, because they, they do tend to release good desserts and things like that. So I'm curious. I expect this to be good. So once again, thanks, Big D. Let's take a sip, and I will give you guys... Oh, by the way, did everybody notice my special lemonade lemon glass? That's right, the champ has his own glasses. That's what I'm saying. All right, so uh, how many grams of sugar in this? 27 grams of sugar in a half cup. Oh, one and a half cups. Well, that's actually not... That's... I guess that's not that bad. That's less than a can of Coke. That's less sugar than a can of Coke for about the same amount of fluid as a can of Coke. I mean, that's still a lot of sugar. Don't get me wrong. Sugar is bad. If you guys haven't figured out sugar is bad, cut it from your diet. It works. Okay, here we go. Okay, well, I get the lemonade right away. It's cold. Lemonade. What I like about lemonade, what I think it makes it addicting, is the flavor is so subtle sometimes. It's there, but it's like there's something about it where you drink it and you just want to drink more to get more of the flavor. And you can like literally chug the stuff and not get enough of the flavor. Or I'm breathing it out my nose because when you smoke cigars, you get flavors when you exhale through your nose sometimes. Um, so I'm trying to pick up flavors in this. Okay, well, um, I'll say this. It's good lemonade. try one more glass. Let me try one more glass. One more glass. Yeah. I don't need too much sugar. Like I've been saying for a while, I'm getting into the zone and finally this year I committed to it. No sugar. Or as little as possible. Uh, you guys should all follow that advice. Sugar is bad for you in every way. It causes inflammation. All sorts of crap. Um, okay, so my first glass, what do I notice? It's mostly lemonade to me. This is like 99.9% .9 lemonade. Uh, that's all I taste, basically. Uh, the first couple of sips, when I kind of washed it around my mouth, I thought maybe I was picking up a hint of jalapeno, but there's so much lemonade flavor. And even that, like I was saying, is subtle. Like, you just want to keep drinking more because it tastes good, but, you, you know, one mouthful, you don't get enough flavor, right? There's more lemonade flavor compared to what you can get of the jalapeno. It's very, very subtle. I mean, it's almost undetectable. Like, I, I if if you didn't tell me there was lemonade, uh, jalapeno, like if, if the label just said lemonade, I wouldn't even notice it. It's so little that uh, if 
if I was washing it around my mouth and I tasted that, I would probably not even think anything of it because it's like literally maybe 1% of the flavor. 1% of a flavor that's very subtle. What I get the most of is sugar, like the sweetness. There's definitely a sweetness. There's a sweetness, the tanginess right up front. You know, that's like the majority of the taste. There's a little something in there that's not with the sweetness. I think uh, because it's hard to explain. Like I could, I could taste it just a tiny bit. Yeah, like now that I know it's there, I know what I'm tasting. But if, if I didn't know it was there, I wouldn't think anything of it. If that makes any sense. Like I can definitely detect it because I'm looking for it. Yeah, like it's barely there. I mostly notice it as I swallow it and as I exhale. It's just a hint of it. It's mostly lemon and sugar. And the thing with sugar and a lot of spiciness, sugar can kind of balance that out and hide it a bit. So it kind of blends into the flavor a lot, I find. What I did notice, and let me just try to finish this before I say it again, before I say what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. When I, when I chug the rest of it, the flavor doesn't change much. It's still mostly lemonade. I think that the sweetness kind of probably mutes the jalapeno flavor, and I bet you the jalapeno, uh, jalapeno kind of mutes a bit of the sweetness because I don't think this comes off fully as sweet tasting as a regular lemonade would. Uh, but that being said, it pretty much tastes like regular lemonade. But I do notice as I chug it, as I finish the chug and I'm swallowing it, that as it goes down, there's a little bit of a tingle maybe in the back as it's washing down. Maybe right now, as I'm talking, there's just a hint. A hint of something going on in the back of my throat. Hint. I mean, like, it's 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 jalapeno, right? Like, I... It could be my mind playing tricks on me, but I think there is a minute amount of something left in my throat or on my tongue. Yeah, I'm noticing it on my tongue too, right now. I mean, it's not, it's not burning, it's not hot. This wouldn't be hot to an infant. It's not hot at all. Um, I think tangy lemonade would probably sting your mouth more than, than, than any heat from, if I was, if you were to chug three of these, I don't think your mouth would even be warm. You, there might be a bit of a tangle and that could be sugar tangle. It's definitely not hot. This saying mild is an understatement. Mild is a lie. Um, it, with a spicy zing. I need someone who doesn't drink any or eat anything hot to tell me what they think of this. Um, as a lemonade, it's good. Like, I like lemonade, so as a lemonade, it's as good as any other lemonade. It's maybe less sweet tasting because of the jalapeno. Like, maybe something's going on there and it's changed the flavor a bit. And uh, like I said, you know, after having two glasses, I, I do feel a little something on the front of my tongue and maybe just in the back of my mouth on the roof. Just a tiny bit. Not burning. But maybe I can tell there's, there's like a slight feeling of something. So yeah, there's, there's some kind of extract in there, but you know, it's almost indetectable. If, if someone didn't, if you didn't know, you would, I don't think you were thinking of, of it. You know, my mouth does feel a little different than drinking regular lemonade. Like I got the stickiness of, you know, like boy, sugary things make you feel. But yeah, there is a little weirdness going on in my tongue that's not normally there. But it's not a burn, it's not heat. It's indetectable in terms of heat. Uh, it's like a slight tingle, if anything. All right, well, uh, as a spicy product, complete zero for t in, in terms of heat. Uh, there's no heat at all. Uh, it's a complete fail if they were trying to make it hot. Uh, Flavor-wise, the flavor is good. I think it's a good lemonade. I would like to compare it side by side with a regular lemonade. 
um, to see what the flavor difference really is. But I, I'm thinking that there's kind of a bit of a balance being had between the heat and the sugary, sugariness of it. It's kind of muting a little bit of the lemonade flavor and definitely muting a lot of the jalapeno flavor. And like I said, you really have to know it's there to even look for it. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's good for lemonade. If you were looking for a spicy zing, like it says, I don't think it's there. Maybe, maybe someone who doesn't eat hot food at all might notice the zing. Uh, but you probably get just as much of a zing from licking a lemon. Probably more. Anyways, thanks, D. Big D. I appreciate that. That's cool. And uh, I'll finish it. There's, there's nothing wrong with it. Just not hot. Anyways, so I was talking about the Ben Askren and Jake Paul fight. Like I said, Ben Askren is a fighter. And uh, Jake Paul is an athletic guy who wants to fight. And th th there's a big difference between the two. And um, I'm not sure if he's going into this overconfident. I'm not sure how this is going to play out. Maybe I'll be completely wrong. Jake Paul obviously has a puncher's chance. He's athletic. He's strong looking. He has been training boxing for three years. Um, depending on how serious he is about it, uh, you know, we'll see tomorrow. If he's serious and he wins big, then okay, this guy might be the real deal, and I'd like to see more. But I think this is going to be the first time where he faces opposition that's going to fight back and make it difficult for him. And I think Ben Askren knows that. I think Ben's going to fight dirty, and he's going to hit him in places that he doesn't like it, and he's going to, you know... Try to do things to pick him apart and be an annoyance from the distance and try to drag him into deep waters. And I think he'll try to just point fight him or maybe he'll bully him and pick on him. And, you know, it, it could get quite strange. Who knows? I mean, it's going to be a real fight for Jake Paul. He's not fighting a basketball player this time. He's fighting a guy who fought guys like Robbie Lawler and got in the deep water with them and still won. Um... And I've heard things about guys that sparred with him, and it sounded like he had a hard time with them. So I don't know if that's true, but, um, you know, guys tend to talk crap sometimes. So don't know if that's fully true, but, you know, we're going to find out tomorrow exactly what's what. But I'm going to bet less of the death shots than I did last week. I'll bet, like, you know, about a quarter of a tip for real this time on uh, Ben Askren winning that fight. And we're going to talk about tomorrow's UFC. Robert Whitaker is fighting Kelvin Gastulum. It's the main event. Uh, I'm a fan of both guys. I like Kelvin a lot. I think Kelvin has a lot of potential, but he always seems to find ways to disappoint himself and everybody that supports him. Um, you know, this is a big fight for him. It's a rematch. It didn't end well for him the last time. Uh, I'm not sure what to expect from Kelvin, to be honest. You know, I want to think he's a guy that's learned from his previous mistakes and shortcomings, and, and he'll come into this fight ready and better than ever. And, you know, put on a dominating performance like he, sh you know, should if he's what people say he is. Um, I'm not sure it's going to happen. I think Robert Whitaker, you know, he has been a champion. Uh, he has been injured a lot. And injuries could end up ultimately changing him as a fighter. And, you know, he may never be what he was again. But... I think that he's still a big challenge for Kelvin Gastelum. And unless Gastelum had the best training camp ever and comes in completely ready, in the best shape he could have been in, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure it's going to end up too different than the last fight. You know, I'd like to be wrong. I like Kelvin. I would like to see him have success. I would like to see him have a shot and actually look good at taking that shot. He's a likable fighter. But so is Robert Whitaker, and he's already proven himself, and I, I do think he's going to prove himself again tomorrow. So if Whitaker wins, uh, I mean, I'm picking Whitaker. So, <laughs> I mean, if, if Gastulum ends up winning, I'll be happy for the guy. But obviously, I'm picking against Gastulum. So if, 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 if Gastulum does end up winning, then I will finish those drinking boxes. before I do the death shot, if I have to do it. Um, how's that? I know it's not the ultimate punishment. It's not a huge fight tomorrow. It's more of a fun fight. Um, but yeah, let's do that. We'll do those awful drinking boxes, the rotten ones. 
uh, if Calvin Gastelum wins the fight. Because uh, my pick for tomorrow will be Robert Whitaker. I think he's going to you know, show that he's still champ material and then he's going to give uh, Adesanya another run at some point. Um, yeah, so let's see how that fight goes. Like I said, and the reason I said before, if, if I lose the aspirin bet, I will drink the ju juice boxes first so I have no form of relief for the death shots. That's why I specifically said before. Okay. Well, that's all we have for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed my opinion on this. And if you're curious about it, give it a try. Like I said, it's not a bad drink. Um, it's just not spicy. It's not really going to... If you didn't know, you wouldn't know. Um, but that being said, afterwards, there is something a little funky going on with my tongue. Not a burn. Just I know something weird is going on because I know it's in there. Uh, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. Tune into the fights tomorrow. See what happens. And... Uh, We'll see if we're going to do a punishment next week. And also stay tuned because I'm going to do lives and I'm going to release some new reviews. So, um, yeah, all that's coming up. So, in the meantime, make sure you subscribe. Check out the punishment video from last week or two weeks ago. Check out this video here. And I'll see you next week, depending on what the result of this is. We'll see what we do.